male and female dynamics were reversed at some point in time, right? By society, by the Illuminati, who, whoever you want to, uh, you know, call it, whatever you want to call it. And a lot of people, right, especially the new new age folks, um, younger folks, they'll say that there are no roles, right? They'll say that, especially females, especially females will say that until they get turned off by almost every dude that they encounter, right? What you'll get is, <clears throat> what you'll get is, is the female acting disrespectful, right? not valuing the man because he's not acting like a man. She senses this. She sees this. And yet she'll still, you know, a lot of them will still say this whole uh, men and women are, are have the same roles and have the same type of dynamic. Okay. So what you'll see is, is the woman did being disrespectful, not valuing the man, not taking him serious, just looking at him like, like a whatever, right? Like 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 another thirsty simp bucket, right? I don't even know if that's a word, a simp bucket, a thirst bucket. That's what I meant to say. Just another dude in her rotation, giving her uh, free validation and attention, right? This is what happens. And on the flip side, when the man believes this whole, uh, you know, men and women are, are the same and we have similar roles and stuff like that, he, on the tail end of it, he feels inherently deep down inside, he feels like a little, little biatch because the chick is, is kind of stringing him along, kind of not taking him serious. You know, she's, she's talking to him all snappy and disrespectful. And in his mind, he's like, oh yeah, it's, you know, she's supposed to talk to me like that, right? She's supposed to talk to me like that, not knowing that he's supposed to check that shit which is part of being a man, which he don't know, right? He knows not. You feel me? He knows not. Ignorance, he knows not. So the dynamics, the way that, that they, it's when they get switched like that, it's just a, a recipe for disaster, especially in relationships, okay? Especially in relationships. Because men... As the man in the relationship, right, or in a dynamic, we're the ones that, you know, the same way these chicks be acting, dog, the same way these chicks be acting, a lot of them act real masculine because, and I'm not giving some kind of excuse for that behavior, but because usually the guy acts feminine, right? Usually the chick is acting the same way the guy is. You know, the chick is the one calling all the shots. She's the one, she's the one kind of laid back. She's the one kind of like, uh, you know, if he calls, he calls. If he doesn't, he doesn't. She don't give a damn. She's the one calling the shots. She's the one telling him what to do. You know, she's the one kind of ignoring his calls. But on the flip side, though, on the flip side, the, the problem is, is the dude is, is acting like, like feminine. Like I said, he's the one blowing her shit up, blowing her phone up, trying to be uh super, super ac accommodating. How was your day to day and all that good stuff? Which, fellas, let me tell you something. Everything I'm saying, there's no problem showing your girl affection, right? No problem at all. Cause when I make these type of videos, a lot of folks get it misconstrued that you need to you need to be some kind of dictator a hole. That's not what that's not what I'm saying to y'all. Okay, but it's reciprocation. It's reciprocation. Usually. The best place to be is to let her do that first. Let her do that first. Let her, because uh, uh, it, it all goes back to what I'm saying. A lot of people might disagree. Hey, keep disagreeing and keep say, seeing the same jacked up results that you've been seeing your whole life, right? But anyway, for my fellas and my ladies that are willing to listen, right? It's in your best interest as a man to let women do all that reaching out, all that lubby-dubby stuff, okay? First, then you can reciprocate. Nothing wrong with being affectionate with her. I love being affectionate with my lady, right? Love being affectionate. Because one of my love, la love languages is physical touch. That is one of my love. Like, I, love I love caressing a soft young lady, 
I love doing that. But especially in the beginning, you need to let her do a lot of that mushy, gushy stuff. You need to let her be like, I, I like spending time with you. And I, I you're, you're just, you know, you're a hell of a man type of shit, right? You know, her. let her do that stuff. Let her, you know, of course, as the man, you're probably, you're going to have to initiate you going out, right? You're going to have to initiate. You're going to have to plan, plan where, where you want to go. Hey, look, let's go to this bar, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you get the ball rolling. But after that, let's say you get off from the first first date, first interaction. Don't don't automatically go to calling in and blowing her phone up the next day. You do not need to do that, right? You don't need to do that. Pace yourself. Hey, look, this was our first first little outing, first day. You might have hooked up, you might have not, right? When you get experienced, you hook up with young ladies on the first night, okay? And I'm not saying this as cap, okay? Because I know someone's thinking, oh, cap. No, trust me, it's not cap. <laughs> trust me, when you get good, when you get your sex appeal up, when you get your, you know, your your game and, and, and demeanor and all that, yes, young ladies will want to hook up with you on the first night. You feel me? So, even with all that being said, hey, look, y'all, after that, just let it let it marinate, bro. Let it marinate. Let her let her get some time. Let her get some time to be to get her emotions. Let her get some time to for her emotions to start getting evoked, to start coming out. That she can be like, hmm, you know, oh buddy, he ain't hit me up in, in, in a couple of days, right? In a couple of days. Let me hit him up. Bam. She's reaching out. Now, now you're getting her to act more in her natural state. And like I said, a lot of people are going to disagree. It's okay. Keep doing what you do. Keep doing what you do and keep getting the same fucked up results. You feel me? But she's the reason why she's going to feel happier if she reaches out is because naturally that's what women do. They like coach Corey Wayne said, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I get a lot of inspiration from him. He's the truth, Coach Corey Wayne, if y'all know who I'm talking about, okay? It's in a woman's nature to bond and connect. Think about when a when a woman has a child. She's the first one that's bonding and connecting. She's the first one hugging it, uh, hugging him or her, right? Breastfeeding, getting real close. This it's, It kind of goes into relationship dynamic. Women like to reach out. They, they're the ones that like to bond. Okay. And that's the dynamic is more like that. The man is supposed to be the more stoic kind of laid back one, right? Kind of laid, more laid back. Here's the golden rule, fellas. And I know there's different personality types. I know some of you guys are more extroverted. I know some of you guys are more rambunctious, more rowdy, so to speak, right? fine even even that even with that you always want the girl to be the one that's a little more talkative a little more giddy a little more they're emotional right you always want her to invoke a little more emotion than you you always want her to be talking just a little more than you yes i'm telling you fellas let me tell you something that's kind of it's it's kind of in a woman's nature, and I'm not saying this in a, in a disrespectful way at all, right? Because men, we have our own kind of character, uh, flawed characteristics as well, right? But it's in a woman's nature to be kind of vain, meaning she's kind of more into herself, okay? Naturally, she's going to talk more than you, right? Naturally, she's going to talk more than you. All you got to do is ask her, hey, babe. How was your day? Hey, Ma, how was your day? And you're going to get like 30 minutes of her talking, right? Which is fine, which is cool. That's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's her That's her kind of uh, investing in you, right? She's investing in you. So it's not It's not only because a lot of times the man is the, the only one investing. Like I said, reaching out with the phone calls, reaching out with the text, reaching out with the hand-holding and, and all that bullshit. No, it's the other way around, bro. If this is making sense, it, it'll make sense. It'll make sense to y'all 
after some practice. She flipped all that around because I know a lot of the times, and I hate to say this, nine times out of ten, it's the dude doing all of that. It's the guy reaching out, the guy investing with gifts, the guy investing with time. When men learn to be men, right, a little more laid back, a little more stoic, a little more, hey, let me sit back. I'm the king of, of, of my throne, right? I'm the king of my throne, so there's no need for me to rush. Have that mindset. I'm the king of this throne. Of course, she has to be attracted to you, right? Of course, she has to be attracted to you or none of this fucking matters. But that's that's without being said, right? Just think of it like that. Because kings, they don't rush, right? You're not rushing. You're not trying to rush commitment. You ain't trying to rush her to fall in love with you and stuff. You know it's going to happen. You know you know she's going to invest in you because you know you the shit. You know you the man. So naturally, this is... This is the kind of vibe it gives off. And you're going to believe it. After a while, you are going to believe it. Like, this ain't just talk. Like, you really got to believe this shit. You got to build yourself up first, though, right? And she's going to start investing in you. She's going to be like, okay, I, I, I realize I got to put in a little more effort with this guy, right? He's not like the others. He's not, he's not going to sit here and kiss my ass. He's not like the others. I got to invest in him. Bam. Now she's an invest investing in you. Now she's reaching out to you. Now she wants more of your time. Now she wants to be intimate way more than you do. And that's where you want to be. That's the dynamic, right? But a lot of times the dynamic gets flipped and it's a disaster. It's no one is happy. The, the man isn't happy because he's being disrespected and treat, being treated like a five-year-old. And a woman feels like she has to uh, act like fucking Thor, right? She she feels like she got to act like the Hulk all the time. So no one is happy, right? Just something to think about. Let me know if this video helped. Peace.